inside the engine room of Mara. Crew to the bridge. Uh, what's the sad up to now? Are you in the captain's chair? I am. Uh, are you nuts? I am not. Chen monitors that sort of thing. That's why I shut everything down. He'll catch on. Uh, eventually. You are a dead man. And you might have killed us all. Get up here. Ugh, the pair of you! I take one minute for myself to go to the latrine, and you two idiots start whipping yourselves up into mutiny? Sandy? Who else is it going to be? Is that what we're doing? We're planning a mutiny? Luke, you are dumber than bait. No harm in talking. There is plenty of harm to be had in talking. Just get to the bridge. We are pirates. And this is an act of piracy. The more I mull this over, the more of a no-brainer it seems to be. Uncouple the ship from her moorings, and off we go. We're a crew of three. That's enough. All we're doing is moving to a new location. Do you have one in mind? The Century Cluster. It's far off the beaten path. Precisely where is not critical at the moment. Leaving is. Our window of opportunity is closing. Our once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. We are pirates. And now, the ship is traveling out in space. Couldn't have been easier. We'll be charting our own destiny from now on. If Chen was foolish enough to leave us to guard the ship while he's off to the Jado shipyards to steal another, well, he deserves this. <laughs> A kick in the ass from Karma. We got incoming. Are we right on top of something? Luke? I ain't never seen readings like... Inside Director Hargrove's office in the Early Warning Center, situated in Monument City Starbase. All right then, let's focus on what we do know. It's a binary star system consisting of a red dwarf, a quark star, and one planet with a small moon. And it just appeared out of nowhere? Near the Century Cluster, as far as we can determine. Appear really isn't the right term. Then what is the right term? There's a massive gravity spike rippling out from the cluster in all directions. It's like it birthed through the fabric of space-time into the universe. Birthed from a cannon? The system is moving at a pretty good clip towards the denser regions of the galaxy. And flying under its own steam. I don't understand. Unpack that. Given its changing trajectory, it has to be. An entire system is some kind of ship? We are witnessing some significant gravitational events. That could be, for lack of a better term, the exhaust of its propulsion. Come in. Sir, we are receiving coordinates from a distress beacon on the array. The transmission is coming from the newly arrived star system. Distress beacon? One of ours? It's the Invictus, sir. Are you sure? There's no doubt. And sir, the BGO is on the line. Of course they are. Folks, I'm gonna need to take this. Alone. What is that? What is that? Director Hargrove? Hello, Director. We seem to have a bit of a situation. That early warning center of yours must be in an absolute frenzy. Who am I speaking with? Uh, yes, of course. Mr. White. I represent the interests of the BGO. The BGO's interest in the situation? Yes. Specifically the Invictus, I'm guessing. Yes, specifically that part. And what about the binary solar system currently ripping into the galaxy? Not an area that's really in the BGO wheelhouse. You do realize that the two are currently one and the same. I'm glad you understand. It makes it so much easier to inform you that you are now on the Emergency Measures Task Force. Conveniently for you. It's assembling right here on Monument City Starbase. You'll be picked up shortly. I'm needed at the center. No one is indispensable. And as you mentioned, our concerns are currently one and the same. Helping us with ours could go a long way toward dealing with yours. Outside the shipyard, on Evermore. <gasps> no need for the alert, Sam. I'm fine. Are you sure, Priestess? Some of your biologics have suddenly spiked. I am fine enough. The Goddess has ordered a ship prepped for launch. A delivery run. That is unfortunate. 
We were doing so well there for a while. Evermore's shipyard has never looked so... non-smash-up derby. Do you know where she is presently? No. However, if she is planning on doing some post office business, she might be suiting up. Reasonable. I can call her chamber. No, no, thank you. Inside the goddess's chamber. <clears throat> oh, hey, Jing. You'd think the post office would make these martial uniforms more durable and stain resistant. Yes, you would. Look at this frock coat. Bullet holes, singes. And I think this is blood. And maybe this, too. Oh, and this. What is this? Can't you wait for the post office to send you a replacement ship of theirs? I get why you'd ask that, but no. But goddess... Zheng, what did we discuss? But Alexandra, our fleet is limited. A replacement ship ain't coming because I didn't file a report on what happened to the last one. So I'll be using one of ours. <sighs> I know that as the fleet watcher over you worry, but it's just a mail run. And contrary to the gossip, not all ships I fly end up destroyed. <laughs> not right away. Everything falls apart eventually, Jing. That's entropy. It's one of those basic laws of the universe. <gasps> Science. What are you going to do? Crushing is not entropy. It kind of is. Inside a boardroom in a government building, somewhere on Monument City Starbase. Mr. Hargrove. Miss Normal. Fashionably late, I see. I'm all about the entrance, Barb. You know that. I believe we can get started. Now look what you've done. As indicated in the brief, the entanglement with the array of the Invictus has recently been re-established. This is all so bizarre. I understood that the ship had been destroyed. The test of the interdimensional drive was a success of sorts. The Invictus has been outside the universe all this time. If you'll all kindly refer to the star map, that contrail of brighter dots is the Invictus being tracked through the Milky Way. The ship is transmitting an SOS and giving an ever-changing set of coordinates that place it on the sole planet of the newly arrived binary star system. The system is barreling through progressively denser regions of space. If you want to recover anything, you'd better get to it before it's potentially lost to galactic collision. When we zoom into the star system itself, note the planet's small moon. We believe it consists of strange matter. There is speculation that it was converted by the strangelets generated during the formation of the quark star. Strangelets that are now in a cloud of undetermined size orbiting the system. That could be the fate of any approaching vessel. What about shielding? A possibility. Do we have any sense of the density of this cloud? None. Could we not do some minimal testing? If nothing else, we could launch asteroids into the planet's general direction to see how many make it through. Agreed. If no one is opposed, I will arrange for an excavator and military escort. Assuming we can get to the planet, that brings us to the contentious issue of the ship itself. If the ship's operating and navigation systems have been compromised, they will need a reboot. Collectively codenamed the Fiddlehead Protocol, the system is unique to the Invictus. Dr. Kane, my predecessor, didn't leave any copies behind. Do we have any idea where he is now? Unofficially, we do. He's at a facility within the Jader's Dyson Swarm. Unofficially? I assume that means we know he's there, but the Jader aren't acknowledging it? You assume correctly. If we can't get the man, can we get his research? That option is under consideration. The facility is housed within Corfu, a fortress that dates to the War of the Insurrection. I can tell you of someone who is intimately familiar with the place, but you're not going to like who it is. Outside the Hollis compound on Zreth. Jeb, it seems like this one may have gotten away from us a bit. What say we take it down a notch or two? Fine, but I'm not signing. You're signing. I'm not. I'm running out of people of yours to shoot. Jeb, are you familiar with the phrase, the medium is the message? Marketing, of course. 
By mailing the divorce papers, Joshua knew I'd be the medium. Give a critical eye to the place. In your heart of hearts, what do you feel is the message? Why? Why doesn't he love me anymore? Well, now, if I had to guess, the harsh truth of the matter is that you can be an asshole. I know. I'm coming in. Huh. I'm gonna take this. Hey, Captain, what's up? I have a Mr. Bronson Reis on the line with me. He is calling on behalf of an emergency measures task force. Did you say Bronson Rice? It's a matter of galactic security. Put him through. Go ahead, Mr. Rice. Hey, hard ass. Bronson Rice? Bobo Rice? Yes, ma'am. It's been a while. That it has. Where are you calling from? It looks like a dinner party for people who can't get invited to dinner parties. It's an emergency task force. Oh, one of those. Explains the faces. Hey, you get yourself banged up recently? No opportunity to. Right, you got a big boy job at the Bureau of Galactic Ownership. Oversight. Yes, ma'am. I'm with the BGO. Desk jockey. Probably best. <laughs> Probably. The central government needs your services again. We need to get into Corfu. Corfu? I'm still a little ticked about the metal. That was a lifetime ago. A lifetime means different things to different people. True enough. So, just into? And out of. That's the premium part. You need to return to the post office to pick up your badge before you're reinstated. Reinstated? I didn't know that I was uninstated. It's suspended. That sounds familiar. Where are you right now? The Hollis compound on Zreth, teeing up another teachable moment. You didn't do any post office work during your suspension, did you? You asking or telling? Asking. Some. You know, delivering, law enforcing. Emphasis on enforcing. Fine, let's do this. It's for the best. You gonna arrest me now? For? Shooting at you. Did you? You're all right. I'm a softie in matters of the heart. I can meet you at Six Kill Station. Oh, right. Yeah, sure. You'll need to swing by the station to pick up your badge. While you're here, there are a few arrest reports that you need to complete. I'm up to date. You'll need to elaborate on three of them as to precisely what you mean by hijinks ensued. Pretty self-explanatory. Perhaps, uh, given how pressing our situation is, all that can wait. Keep my badge warm, Captain. Call ended by recipient. I hate it when she's our only hope. Military forte notwithstanding, the woman won't have a clue what she's looking for. A mission specialist will accompany her. You sound as if you have someone in mind. I do. And she's here in Monument City. Inside the office of Dr. Ezra Rising on Corfu. Lisa, dear, wonderful surprise. And you brought friends. How nice. I haven't made enough to share, I'm afraid. You have a lot to answer for. Do I? Cuff the good doctor. Give me a reason to shoot you in the face, Rising. I'm trying to be cooperative, dear. But you have to admit, that is a conflicting request. Shut up. Is this about Fiddlehead? She hasn't been around as of late. Is she gone? She's fantastic at hiding. She may not even have left Corfu. Where is she? I haven't the faintest idea. We know you had something to do with the hijacking of the Long. The Long what? And that you played some sort of role in this invading solar system that's tearing into the galaxy. A whole solar system, you say? I did that? I've been busy. I'm flattered that you consider me to be so godlike, dear child. Seriously, I am deeply touched. At the Hollis compound on Zreth. Jeb, your decor looks like it's reflecting on the wisdom of obstructing a marshal. A few of the chairs are still functional. Could I offer you one? I'm good. The woman hunkered under the dining table is my lawyer, Susan. Ma'am? This whole thing reeks of coercion. It's really for the best, Jeb. Just a little biometric verification and you can move on. I know. But he was so beautiful. 
Congrats, you're a free man. Hooray. Hey, while I'm here, I wouldn't mind ammoing up. Including grenades? Always about the upsell. Yeah, grenades too. The Ammo Comfort 2950 Barrel Launch Self-Propulsive? You got me ruined for anything else. Admittedly rather pricey, but there's no substitute for quality craftsmanship. Nope. The whole kit explodes the crap out of the place. You're not going to sell anything to her, are you? I am. And at the customer discount that I usually reserve for large volume organizations. She doesn't buy much, and she doesn't refer anyone, but she sure motivates a ton of business. Thanks to Jeb here, nothing I pack is standard issue. I've become a weapons snob, and he's my bombista. I'll throw in an EMP grenade sample. I might start carrying them. Let me know how well it snafus electronics. She destroyed our compound. Do you know how much business she generates for me? This? This is nothing. Because of her, I'm getting into the warship business. This is insane. Let's put a happy spin on this, Susan. So, you're finally taking the plunge? The margins are insane. Oh, that reminds me. My ship got done in, taking out your defense grid. I need a new one. Preferably an exact replica, or I'll never hear the end of it. No. Hold that thought. My phone. It's an alert. Law enforcement alert. Pirate activity at Jadar Dockyard. Read more. Ugh, later. You were saying? Nothing is left. Fire sale? Kravis has an impressive light cruiser. Well-armed. Latest everything. It's top of the line. For its size, there's nothing better on Olive's Reth. Kravis? The drug gal? The arms dealer. A competitor. It's her own private yacht. She lives nearby. You're not suggesting this woman steal from your neighbor, who also happens to be a client of mine? This marshal commandeers from the neighbors, you mean. Is that what you're suggesting? Yes. She snubbed me. She snubbed you? And for that, you're sending a mad dog to burn her world to the ground? Ugh, the mad dog is in the room. Only if Kravis doesn't fork over the ship. You know she won't. That's true. I do know that. Jeb, old buddy, this is the kind of stuff that makes you an asshole. Thanks for the tip. Inside a personal transportation vehicle. I believe that's the park just ahead, Mr. Rice. Quite right. When the lieutenant comes in, we'll have to bring up the cabin divider, Jason. Sensitive information protocol. I'm sure you understand. Absolutely, sir. Some of those children are extraordinarily spastic. Are they all right? They would be part of the exchange program with one of the inhabited worlds. I believe this bunch is from Luthia. With Monument City being nothing more than a mountain-sized rotating drum in space, for most of them, this will be the first time playing basketball while dealing with the Coriolis effect. I have some work stuff. Here's the source of all my power and wisdom. A whistle? You're in charge. Anyone dies, and it's on you. <laughs> Injuries are okay, though? Lieutenant Parker, I am Bronson Rice, and this is my pilot, Jason Nesmith. We are here on behalf of the BGO. I was alerted that you'd be swinging by. There is an urgent, time-sensitive matter that your government needs your help with. How urgent? As I mentioned, Jason is my pilot. We're leaving right now? That would be best. I'll get my travel kit and get changed. We've taken the liberty. You got my stuff? Yes. That's invasive? Yes, it is. You can freshen up on the flight. The city is like a massive English garden. Quite beautiful. I don't get here often enough. Isn't the BGO headquartered here? Alongside every other branch of government? It is. I'm not. I'm out and about quite a bit. I do a lot of checking in and field audits. You can review this brief to get up to speed. Fire away with any questions you may have. Where are we off to? Six Kill Station. What's there? When I made the offer about questions, I meant after you had reviewed the file. <laughs> of course. At my request, we will be contacted en route by Dr. Benjamin Hansen. 
he will flesh out some of the pertinent background. On board the Kravis. Whoa, Barracuda 5450 rifles. The Kravis chick knows what's what. Hello? Oh, this? This is the same ship. What? I don't know, you called me. What? Why'd you call, Jing? It seems that the prophecy of the Oracle has come to pass. What prophecy? Twins will emerge from the unfathomable rift to sound the knell that the end of days is nigh. That sounds like something she'd say. So what happened? A binary star system suddenly emerged into this universe and is now hurtling through our region of the galaxy. Its surprisingly strong gravitational wake is wreaking havoc. It's a real mess out there. What's Tara saying about the prophecy? The Great Mother is with you. She senses that you are on the path to meeting a new priestess. Where are you traveling to? Six kill. Tara's not here. She assures me that she is. Hold on a sec. She's here. She's just being showy. She's outside on the nose of the ship. What's she doing there? Pointing at... Oh. Hello, new pilot. By your remark, I take it you've noticed the asteroid storm barreling toward us? I have. Excellent. Might I slip in a tiny suggestion? What's happening? Some of that havoc you've mentioned is coming my way. Inside the office of Commander Koofer. I have always thought it ingenious, the way the cafeteria was converted to the base commander's office during the refit. Never quite got rid of that luncheon meat smell, though. Are you used to it? Dr. Ezra Rising, you and I are going to have a discussion about everything that you've been up to. You should ask to hear Lisa's account. While egregious, there is flattery in it. Hero worship, perhaps. Take a seat. I insist. If we don't make productive headway, Lisa will be doing the asking, and she will be doing it her way. Excellent. Our us time in the corridor was too short. She wanted to start with that, but I said it wouldn't be necessary because Dr. Rising is not an idiot. You are too kind, Commander. We have been generous with you, Doctor. You have paid for services rendered, Commander. Nothing more. We have also been your greatest ally. You'd not be so welcome elsewhere. You've been a customer? And yes, I would be. Just not openly. Alternatively, we could be your greatest enemy. Your choice. My greatest enemy? The Jader? Oh, little man, school's in. 